and welcome to Simply Listed. If you have not already heard of Simply Listed, it is a mock-up automation tool where you can make your mock-ups within seconds and it will pull over the designs you have on Printify and put them onto mock-ups for you and then it'll also connect to Etsy and you can post it over to Etsy. It's currently integrated with Etsy and Printify, so that's what we're going over today. And we're also going to be going over how to make t-shirt mock-ups with the front and the back design like I have here. This is just showing after I've already made the template and everything is done and it looks really good. You can add your size chart and any other photo cards that you would like on here as well. So let's get started and I will show you how I did this. So you want to start with your design. When you're creating your design in Canva, you want to make sure that the size matches the print area on Printify. So that's why I have here 4200 by 4800 because in Printify, it'll show right here your print area, which is right here. And the reason that that's so important is because you want it to fit within the box here. So like for the pocket design here, it's going to fit because we resized it, but most designs, like the back here, you're going to want to make sure that when you upload it, the green stays within those lines. And sometimes when you upload your design, if it's not the same size, it'll actually look like this. And even if the design is in that design space, it still isn't going to carry over correctly. You want to make sure that the green is within the border. So if you do need to resize your design, it's pretty simple. You can just go over and resize it right here on Canva. Oh, and another thing I wanted to go over really quick is you can do different colors on different shirts. So for example, I have black on white and white on the darker colors. And what Simply Listed will do is it will sync the colors, which is really cool. And I will show you how we do that. So you're going to save it like you normally would, and you want to go ahead and publish it to Etsy. I usually like to hide in store so that you can make your changes once you're over in Etsy, but you do want to start by publishing it. Then you can make your mock-ups in Simply Listed. So when you're creating your mock-up, you're going to be under Listing Template here. You're going to click New Template. You're going to click Printify, and then you're going to search for your product. You want to make sure that it's the exact same product that you have on Printify. So in our case, it's Comfort Colors 1717, and here it is. When you're choosing your print provider, you want to make sure that it matches the one on Printify. So to find that, you can find it in a couple spots, but it's right here under Fulfilled by Swift POD. So when you're choosing your print provider, just make sure that it matches up or else it won't be able to find your product for you when you're trying to sync your mock-ups. So we're doing Swift POD. And then we're going to go with extra large for shirts. Then you're going to go ahead and upload your files. You can upload one at a time if you would like, but just keep in mind the first mock-up is going to be the size that all of the other photos are going to be. So I recommend making a template in Canva really quick and keeping them all the same size. So you have all your blank mock-ups and then you can just upload them like I did here to Simply Listed. So you're going to go ahead and title your design Comfort Colors 1717. We'll do front and back. This is just for internal purposes only just so you know what is in each design template. Okay, so you're going to start by clicking print area. We're going to do the front. And then we're going to go ahead and size it to the same size that it shows roughly on Printify. So if you need to go back and look at the box and like where it's at, you want to make sure there's a space between the neck and the design, everything like that. And then also keep in mind with the pocket design in particular, you are going to still make your box the same size that you see on Printify. So you want it this size 
and then it'll pull over your design the same size as you scaled it down to. So we're going to keep it that size and then you're going to go ahead and change the opacity or the transparency to around 85 to 90 depending on the design and then you're going to tag your color. It's cool because you can just type it in and then tag your color quickly. And then we're going to do the same thing for the back side. We're going to click print area, back, and we're going to make it about the same size as we see on Printify. And then you can also rotate it a bit. You kind of have to play around with it to make sure it's lined up correctly with the model. Same thing, don't forget to lower your transparency and then tag your color. What's cool too, say you have a, a photo card that has a model in it, you can even um, add the design here too. So you would just scale it down smaller. So I just wanted to mention that. But anyways, once you're done here, you're going to save your template. And then you want to test your template. This is important because depending on the plan that you have, you may not have a bunch of templates that you can waste, so you want to make sure you test it first before publishing it for real. Okay, so what you're going to do is click on the three dots and then you're going to click test. Now it should pull up your product here. If you're not seeing your product here, it could be one of three reasons. It could be one, you did not publish it to Etsy yet, so it won't sync. So if you don't want to publish it to Etsy and you want to save it as a draft in Printify, that's totally fine. You just want to manually sync and then it should pull it up. If you're still not seeing the product pop up, it may be that you either have the wrong product or the wrong print provider. So you just want to go back over to Etsy and check those things to make sure that they're the same that you have on your template. Okay, but ours is right here and then we're going to say test mockup. And then it just takes a few seconds and then you can look over your, your template and see if you're happy with it. Now say that you didn't like the placement or it was too big or too small, there was something wrong with it. That's totally fine, that's what the test is for. All you would do is you would just go right back to the template, click on here, click edit, and then you can go back in and make those changes that you need say you needed to make this a little bigger, whatever it was that was looking funny, you can go ahead and change it, save it again, and then you would just repeat the process, test your template. What's really cool is once you have your template done, you only have to do this one time, and you can use it over and over again, making the mock-up process super fast, saving you so much time. So, once you want to actually publish it for real, you're just going to either click on the actual template or you can click on the three dots and you can say attach artwork. Once you do that, you're just going to click on it and create the mock-up. So, once you come over here, it'll be in your approval queue. Once you see it in your approval queue, you can test it one more time before publishing it over to Etsy. You can kind of scroll through and see if you're happy with how it looks, and I think it looks great. And then all you would do is click Publish to Etsy. If you have a bunch of mock-ups, if you're doing a bulk mock-up design, which I would highly recommend, is you would just, you could select all, or you could just click on the ones that you're ready to publish, and then you can click Publish, and it'll publish all of those for you. One last thing I would like to mention is that Simply Listed creates a video of all of your mockups at the end. It pulls all of your photos together and creates a slideshow that will post right to Etsy for you. Now, if you didn't want a photo included, all you would need to do is go back to edit your template and you would just click on the photo that you did not want included. And see, I already did right here is you click on it, you rename, and you would just type in ignore video in all lowercase, update, and then Simply Listed will know to ignore that video and all the rest will still be included. Another update that just came out is you can actually create your own video and upload it. 
A lot of people will use this feature for, say, like the size guide that is a video of the people modeling the sizes. So in that case, you can go back to where you edit your template, click on this, the three dots here, and you would just upload your video. Now, this is going to replace the slideshow that Simply Listed does for you. So you kind of can choose one or the other, whatever you would like. But yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you loved it and you learned a lot. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us. And if you haven't already signed up for the seven day free trial, we'll have it linked down in the description. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.